Hi everyone, Mrs. Kinzer here. I wanted to go over our new rule for today. It's called the floss rule. Um, it sounds kind of funny. It's floss, F-L-O-S-S, -O -S -S, floss. But the, the patterns we're actually gonna, going to go over is F-F, L-L, S-S, and Z-Z. So it kind of looks like floss when you put it together, but it's certainly not how you spell it. All right, so here we go. Here's the first one. All right, floss. Um, when we use FF at the end of the word, this is the, uh, the rule that goes along with it. Ready? At the end of a one syllable word, after one short vowel, is spelled F F. All right. So three steps at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel f is spelled F F. And our key word is off. And if you take a look at how I typed out off, we know off is one syllable. If I clapped it out, off. It's one syllable. So that meets the criteria of the first part of the rule at the end of a one syllable word. The next step is after one short vowel. Well, in the word off, the sound for the O is aw, which is a short vowel sound. So in a one syllable word, after one short vowel, if we hear that f sound, we're gonna double the F, so it'd be F, F. All right, other words that follow this rule could include staff, it's one syllable, it has one short vowel, and it's followed by that f sound. So we're gonna double the F. Okay, other words would be stiff and huff. All right, these all follow the floss rule for FF. At the end of a one syllable word, after one short vowel, f is spelled FF. All right, moving on. We have LL, so let's learn how when we are gonna double the L in a word. At the end of a one syllable word, after one short vowel, L is spelled LL. Now that rule sounds very familiar, right? It's the same rule as FF, except this time instead of F, we're talking about L right? These sounds are happening at the end of the word. So this is when we double the L at the end of a word. The key word for this is hill. And again, I've, um, for the short vowel sound, I made that red as a reminder that it is a short vowel sound. And then hill is one syllable. It has one short vowel, which is I, the I. So we're going to double that L, all right? So other words that follow this pattern are fall, will, and tell. All of these words are one syllable and they all have one short vowel. And at following that short vowel sound is that ul sound. To spell that ul sound, we're gonna double that L. All right, moving right along. S, S, can you guys guess what this rule might start with? If you said at the end of a one syllable word, you were right. So at the end of a one syllable word, after one short vowel, can you guess what's next? S is spelled S S. So same rule. If it's one syllable and if, if that s sound follows a short vowel, then it, you're gonna double the S. The key word is class, right? We're, we are all in a class, all right? Again, I um, mark the, in red the short vowel sound. So we remember that we're always listening for that short vowel sound for this rule, okay? Other words that follow this are toss, miss, and grass. Again, all of these are one syllable. They all have one short vowel, and when we hear that sound after after that short vowel sound we're gonna double that s all right all right last one is z z i think this one's my favorite all right i bet you guys can guess what how this rule starts okay at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel 
Z is spelled Z Z. All right. Again, one syllable word after one short vowel. Z is spelled Z Z. And we're talking about when that Z sound is at the end of a word. Okay. The key word is fuzz. Again, that short vowel sound, that short U is in red to remind us that we're always listening for that short vowel sound. And then following that short vowel sound is that Z. So we know to double the Z. Other words that follow this pattern include buzz, jazz, and fizz. All right. So guys, this is just a review um, or a reminder of this rule. If you're a little um, uh, shaky with this rule right now, that is perfectly fine. That is why we are going over it now. It gives me an idea if we need to stick with this rule a little bit longer or if we can move on. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know, guys. Thanks.